everyone, my name is Nikki Neese and I'm here today to share about Galatians 1.3 which says, May God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ give you grace and peace. And I want to uh, just reflect on two words from this scripture, give and peace. And so to give, there has to be two parties, a giver and a receiver. And our God is a generous God who gives abundantly in love, grace, provision, protection, and example. And I can think of too many times where I don't want his gifts, um, where I'm so fixated on what I want and because it doesn't come in the box that I was hoping for, I don't want to be that joyful receiver. I think of so many times um, the scripture of being a cheerful giver, but how often um, the person needs to be a cheerful receiver as well. And of course, our God is not in short supply of giving us peace. In the um, Amplified version of this scripture, it says that peace is inner calm and spiritual well-being. And I want all of us to have that inner calmness. Um, I know for me, when I'm planning something, uh, which is a form of control, um, I can allow peace to go out the window when things don't go um, as planned and unexpected things happen. And yet, I want to be able to roll with uh, what life throws at me because I got God on my side and trusting the process because His ways are not my ways and His thoughts are not my thoughts. Um, and I just think of, uh, I just want, like, I can allow inner peace to be stolen because I want to be, um, know when these restrictions for the virus are going to be lifted. Um, and yet my God has given me all I need, food, provision, protection. And just because it's not in the way that I've seen it before doesn't mean I haven't been given a plenty. Um, and so I, having that attitude of just seeing it from God's lens versus mine and having peace that he is giving um, abundantly um, really helps me out. And so um, thank you for letting me share and I hope you have a great day.